you got enough top eight placings to be able to play in the Invitational. Nice. It looks like we're going through map bans already. I'm expecting to see Big Thunder Guard. I know Boomy really favors that map, so we're going to see that come out in game one, 3v3. Two Asuris, one on each team, a Bodvar, and Queen so, Knight. Lots of defense coming out from the So to the get this team. correct, get this correct, we've got the Sky plus Boo Nerd uh, versus Static. Yeah, Sky plus Booners versus Static, number one. Must mean that there's another Static team that's participating. If we're going on Thunderguard already, we see the red team controlling the middle of the stage. LDZ, D-Light staring both his opponent and his teammate in Moose. Playing around with a Suri instead of Bodvar for once is uh, going to be fighting on his own against Pugsy unarmed and winning out. What you, I've noticed from Pugsy already is he's got himself positioned so that he can combo off of LDZ's hits. And that's beautiful. Boomy holding down center stage is throwing out signatures, racking up a ton of damage here. We can see Moose has found himself in kill percent, looking to get edge guarded. He does manage to recover, but it's not looking good for the blue team as far as damage goes. Moose is going to be the first Ooh. one to be taken out. And Bodvar. Kingdom of Magic is going to follow up after that, and now they're looking to take out the Roland. I throw, I throw is in kill percent. The red team playing very well. Great synergy, lots of team combos going on. Let's oh, see, LDZ, LDZ does manage to end that stock with a nice place, Sair. And now they Moose, three stock lead. they're trying to go for recovery combos on LDZ here, but Boomy's the only one that's arguably in kill percent, and that is on Sir Roland, already sending Kingdom of Magic almost to his death. Misses the down stick, but LDZ, wow, he LDZ. gets the gift. Oh, he's dominating. A massive lead. Like, this is not even... Nobody has lost a stock yet on the red team, and we can see Kingdom of Magic and Moose are on their last stocks. It is not looking good for the blue team. It's definitely looking like it's going to come down to the 2v2 and the 1v1 if they want to take this set ldz does get killed that's going to be his first stock gone but they've got a ton of ground to cover uh, a ton of ground to cover is definitely what it An is they're getting yeah they're getting they're getting pugsy on to his second stock here but already we're seeing i throw almost being sent to his last stock here kingdom of magic being dangerously close to being put into the orange here all right they've evened up the stocks a little bit they're only behind two but that like considering how long it took for them to get one I stock mean, each honestly oh, ooh, black hole black hole Nice. I mean, they didn't really get to run with it too far, but they did get some damage out there. But honestly, looking at Ithro's uh, health percentage, like I said, there it goes. Ithro was taken out, and now they're at a three-stock disadvantage once again. And Moose, getting abused by Boomy's Lance, is finding himself nearing kill percent. The blue team is struggling to to make plays here. LDZ just hunting down the Roland, but he gets hit by that down air. Will he be able to make it back? He can, but the Sair gets him out of the dodge. He makes it back onto the stage, and now they're fighting against Moose. 2v1. Boomy sent flying, but that's still not going to be a stock just yet. They're sort of stabilizing, but their adjustment's still a little too slow here as two players are KO'd at the same time. I throw has a 1v2. Oh, yeah, no. I don't... I, I mean, as, as much as I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, I see this to be... Almost, if not an impossible feat from I throw. He's already been brought into kill percent by Pugsy. Um, it's going to come down to the 2v2s and the 1v1s here. Hopefully we can see a real big adjustment coming out from Static. Static kind of underperforming there in that 3v3. I mean, you can see that the Sky Boo nerds, they've put in a ton of practice. They're very serious about competing in this tournament. They're looking to make it to, to the finals. And uh, by the way they're playing, I can see that happening for sure. Well, and... and it could be static underperforming, but I think a big thing that we have to consider is that collectively between Pugsy, Boomy, and LDZ, that is a lot of prize money that those three players have made individually, well, right, that's both in 1v1s and 2v2s. Like it, it's, there's a huge difference in regards to tournament success between these two teams. And, and, Boomy, and Pugsy, Boomy and Pugsy are very uh, comfortable with team play and, and, and combos. I like the way uh, Pugsy plays. He's kind of plays like a support role, if you were to consider it to, like, I mean, compare it to a MOBA. Pugsy is kind of support most of the time when it comes to 3v3s. Uh, we are seeing a 2v2, though. We've got Boomy and Pugsy versus Ithro and Kingdom of Magic. Map bans are underway, and we're left with Thunderguard and the Great Hall. We're going to Thunderguard, boys. This time, the small version. Let's see if they can make the adjustments necessary to take this 2v2, or is uh, the Sky Boo Nerds going to take this 2-0? They're definitely looking to take it 2-0 because regardless of what anybody thinks, yeah, you've got LDZ for the 1v1, but it's always easier and feels better to be able to know that you have two... I mean, they're going to try to take it 2-0, but we can't say it's going to go either way just yet. You look, we got Ithro opening up with a nice neutral light. Pugsy is doing a ton of damage, though, with these sword combos. That was a brutal string, and that did a ton of damage to Kingdom of Magic. Kingdom of Magic has found himself in the orange 15 seconds in.
Jumping down airs coming up from Pugsy here. He's trying to read Kingdom of Magic's own down airs. He gets hit by that silent, but he manages to avoid the down light. And now a D light. Sarah comes up for Pugsy. Puts Kingdom on the side of the stage. Already has him an orange. Boomy struggling against I throw on the side of the stage here, but manages to make it back. The trading a lot even on the left side, but not so much to the right. Pugsy gets the ground pound. That's the KO yeah. on Kingdom of Magic already. Yeah, I mean, Boomy hasn't really done too much yet this game, but Pugsy has been doing a ton of work onto Kingdom of Magic. Kingdom of Magic finding himself in a stock deficit, but that was a nice down light into side air. We're seeing both of the uh, Sky Boo Nerd players being brought into kill percent. If Ifro can close out these stocks, it's looking quite good for them. We're actually seeing a, di a big difference here from game one. Ooh, Ifro already being actually being able to take out Boomy there is even it up. 3 2 versus 3 2 here. Bugsy actually kind of at a deficit. If that ground pound does KO, that's going to give them a little bit of the lead. Wapatos comes down. Boomy, however, on a completely fresh stock compared to Kingdom of Magic, who's just now being sent to the orange, most likely. Yes, the downer confirms it. The nair, however, can yeah. follow it up. Boomy is a, a very strong hammer player. We're going to see some nice plays coming out from him. He gets that side air onto I throw. That's going to position him on the side of the map, right where Pugsy wants him to catch that down air. They're taking a stock lead here in game two, but Kingdom, I mean, not Kingdom, uh, Static is performing a lot better. It's a lot closer game than game one, um, but if they get this kill onto Kingdom, it's not going to look too good for them. Recovery came out and it's evened up two to two. And now, ooh, nice stomp combo coming up from I throw. He's got Boomy on the side of the stage. He tries to combo it into Kingdom of Magic. Kingdom of Magic Boomy tries to go for a dagger, but he gets D light Sarah Pugsy. Excellent punt job punishing Kingdom for not paying attention to all of his opponents, and that's a stock lead once again. Alright, so we see that Boomy has found himself in kill percent, and taking that into consideration, I'm sure Pugsy is aware that they're gonna be trying to close out that stock, so he's gonna be looking to punish all of their approaches towards Boomy. Boomy just looking to dodge out of the way of these moves and play very carefully, and he's doing just that, but that Sarah from Kingdom is gonna connect, and that's gonna even up the game, but I throw positioned on the side of the map to get Sarah, is looking like he's gonna get taken out real soon. Dive kick comes out, Boomy puts out a ground pound. Nice side light, D light, Sarah comes out from Kingdom of Magic. That's a lot of damage to put on the wow. Boomy's last stock here. I throw not losing on his stock yet. An interesting end sig to reposition, and he manages to make it back. Kingdom of Magic does not his opponent either. And a D light, Sarah comes out, Pugsy, dangerously close to losing his stock. This is so even, and Kingdom of Magic's actually winning out on the trades on Boomy here. Wow, you see that team combo there? Pugsy comboing off of Boomy's dare with that recovery, gets the kill. Now they have the stock lead once again. Pugsy is doing work this match, definitely the dominant player in the game. Wapatas comes out, hits Kingdom of Magic into the face, he looks for an end sig with Boomy, ooh, jumping with those dares, gets a nice side light, he but that end sig! Pugsy! My oh, no. boy, doing work, very proud of Pugsy right now. We're seeing a lot of good plays come from him, but Ithro does have him on the side of the map, but he doesn't go for the edge guard. He's playing very carefully, not looking to get punished and take any damage he doesn't need to, but he had the opportunity to close that stock, and he really, in my opinion, should have took it. This match has slowed down a lot now as Boomy is recognizing how close he is to being able to lose this stock here. Like, Pugsy, he's a phenomenal player, but a 2v1 is a 2v1. is quite Yeah, difficult. I mean, and they had the opportunity to get a black hole, and that could oh, change no! the course. Wow! That neutral sig is going to connect. That's going to put Ithro into kill percent. That was brutal. They really could not afford that. The signature coming out from Pugsy has got Ithro on the side of the map. Will they get the edge guard? All right. Well, they were able to KO one opponent. Look at these they're signatures. Them. Yeah, they're uh, interesting. Bread and I butter is going to take the game. Sky Boo nerds are going to take this set 2-0.